Gardner and we are at Quilt Market in Portland and right behind me is my new line, remember, that I did for Riley Blake. And you can also see all my new sewing patterns. So I'm just gonna show you a few of these different things. So we have the Little Love Nest Ruffle Dress, which is a little version, the 18 inch doll version of the Love Nest Ruffle Dress. And we have the Little Playdate Outfit, also a small version of the Playdate Outfit. We have a brand new nightgown, which we don't have for the big girl yet, but if it's popular, we'll come out with it for the big girl. It's called the Little Meadow, Little Meadow art gown and then we also have the pinafore pattern which is part of our new beginner plus patterns and we have the Bella bag which is also part of our beginner pattern so um, I'm excited to show you lots of great things at quilt market this year and we're gonna go around see some of my favorite designers and show you lots of good stuff hi guys I'm here with Kim yeah. of Kimberbell and she has come out with an awesome line of quilt patterns. So is this like your first introduction, your first time of doing a booth or? Uh, my first booth was in October of last year in Houston. Oh, okay. So this is the second one. And how many pattern designs do you have now? Ooh, probably over 35. I think. Oh my gosh, that's yeah. a lot. Yeah, so it's been a little busy. I'm I'm excited to have you here because Thanks. I'm a huge fan from <laughs> DIY Dish. Thank you. And I love that you're doing your own stuff now yeah. and sharing them with everybody. Thank you so much. So mostly piece quilts or applique quilts? It's a really good mix of a lot of different techniques. Okay. So pieced, applique, paper piecing even, a little bit of hand embroidery work. I try to put a little bit of everything in there to build skills for other patterns. That is so awesome. Yeah. So tell me your favorite. Oh my goodness. I think that, well, this is one of my newest ones. It's One sw Splendid Summer, and it was just really fun because of all the extra embellishments, the little chalkboards in the garden, the plump strawberries, and it was just something that customers have had a lot of fun with, learning new techniques. I love those strawberries. Yeah, those are thanks. darling. Thank you. Well, thanks so much for being with yeah, us. And you're your booth is darling. Thank you so much, Kate. Thanks. So I am here with Thimble Blossoms, which is Camille. Camille. Tell Ross you, Kelly. Tell last name. Ross Kelly. Okay. <laughs> so this booth is darling, and we're going to get you lots of shots of this booth because she does the most adorable quilt patterns. So tell me what your favorite quilt pattern is. My favorite this time is probably the one behind us, which is called Niner, and it is made out of nine patches and um, actually uses two different lines, our brand new line, which is called Scrumptious, and our one that's just releasing called Happy Go Lucky, and those are both through Moda. Okay, so awesome. that's my favorite this time. Very, very cool. So you designed fabric. Yes. For Moda, and then how many patterns about do you think you have? Um, six. Five. And two books. I just had a book that just released. That's awesome. Let's yeah. show it. That is cute. <laughs> yes. Look how cute. So. And where can you purchase this book? Um, you can get it from my website, thimbleblossoms.com, and my blog is camillarosskelly.typepad.com. Or from Amazon. Um, it's available through Stash Books. Okay. Very so. cool. Thank Thanks. you. I'm here in the Michael Miller booth with my friend Patty Young, who is also known as, well, mostly known as Mod Kid, which yes. is her cute cute clothing patterns and you have a new fabric line we do yeah or i do i guess <laughs> uh, <laughs> this is my 12th fabric collection for michael miller fabrics and i've always done really bright colorful designs and this time i want to do something a little bit different so we went a little more vintagey and more textured with it and um it's called just my type and it is a vintage typewriter inspired line and um it's got a bit of a linen texture on it so it sort of looks like linen but it's a quilting cotton just like all of my Michael Miller's um, fabrics. And her um, booth is darling. It's got all these darling little typewriters in it and and you're kind I of try. you love <laughs> you love fonts. So that's, I do. I'm a type geek, so I love anything, you know, fonts and graphics related. So that's this is coming home for me. It's it's my thing. It's gorgeous. And <laughs> she does you. have new sewing patterns which we'll show you guys. So so cute. So thanks so much, Patty. Thank you, Corinna. Good. I'm here with Allison Harris of Cluck Cluck Sew, and she has a new line with Wyndham. Is that correct? Wallflowers. Yep, wallflowers that comes and out in September. Cute, cute, cute quilts. So tell us a little bit about your new line. Okay. My new line is called Wallflowers with Wyndham Fabrics, and it's floral, some geometrics. Um, I made four, three patterns that go with wallflowers. I have four new ones. Um, 
Wallflowers, the pattern, is my favorite. It's kind of a take on a traditional quilt made modern. Very cool. And subject matter is flowers. Yeah, flowers. What, what's the colors? The colors are red, navy, yellow, uh, traditional colors, but kind of updated, more saturated colors. Um, very, very, yeah, very more cool. more my style. Okay. Well, um, my next door neighbor made me come see you because she loves your quilts and we need to grab a couple before we go. How long have you been doing the quilting? I've been doing the quilting for about six years, patterns, about four years. Okay. And this is my first fabric line. And Oh, okay. This is your mm -hmm. first. First fabric line. So yeah. awesome. Yeah. Thanks so much for talking Thank to you. us. Thank you. I'm in the Westminster booth with... Joel Dewberry. I love Joel Dewberry. So we're, I'm so excited Hi, to be here with, with Joel. And he has a new line, Bungalow. So do you want to tell us about the line? I would love to. So this is Bungalow. It's my newest collection. It comes in two colorways. It comes in our quilting cotton, cotton sateen, and then a rayon for fashion and apparel. And Bungalow is inspired by what my wife and I love, just beautiful cottage-like homes and urban settings. So there's a modern kind of flair, but a kind of a warmth and hominess to the line as well, in the colors as well as the designs so excited these are really beautiful and i hope you get a chance to check it out tell us your website is joeldewberry.com okay and they also keep an awesome blog yes. i've been on so it's really At great joeldewberryblogspot.com awesome thanks so much i am with amanda herring who is of the quilted fish and she designs for riley blake and has a gorgeous new line tell us the name of it mattery and it's indian inspired that's correct and also has a number of gorgeous new sewing patterns out so tell us about the line and then show us your sewing patterns well like you said it's inspired by india love india love the colors and the exotic nature and the dream of going there it's all inspired about that and we've kind of done some sewing patterns around that uh, we did a cute little pajama pant lounge pant type thing with an indian feel called pondicherry pants and then um, a great little diamond pattern because who doesn't need more diamonds? It's true. Um, that actually has a ruler that we designed that will be with that. And Star of India, this beautiful quilt. Um, it's also out of Mattery. I'll coordinate perfectly with it. That's so awesome. So where can people buy these patterns? Uh, Thequiltedfishpatterns.com or at your local quilt shop. Okay, awesome. Thanks, Amanda. Thank you. I'm here with Rashida Coleman-Hill of Cloud9 Fabric, and she has a brand new fabric line out. Why don't you tell us about it? Um, my new collection is called Koi, and it will start shipping in July. It's Japanese-influenced, naturally. <laughs> <laughs> That's my favorite thing to do, but um, there's going to be 12 SKUs, and then three of the prints will be in voile, the thick crosses, and also the scallops, which will have a purple background, and the floral, which will I think this is the first time they're doing wall, in fact. They have another collection I that's coming it. out, but I'm super excited about it. So I'm just here promoting this collection and also my first collection with them, Suru. That is beautiful. Such a beautiful line. I love the colors. Thank they're you. They're gorgeous. Thank you. Um, and there's a darling chair here that is done in, <laughs> not this line, right? This, Suru, the first collection The first with them. collection. Yes. Well, thanks so much for joining us. Thank you so much for stopping us. by. I'm in Heather Bailey's booth, and she has these awesome new embroidery patterns that we're going to talk about. So tell me which one I'm holding here. Uh, this is my Blooming Borders design. Uh, inside the pattern there are a number of different borders, far more than you see on here, that are done in repeat. So you can do them across the front of a little girl's shirt or on the edge of a kitchen linen or, um, gosh, anything you can think up. I want to use them on some of my pincushion patterns. Yeah, those are so, so cute. Cause show us some of the ones that you're holding. Okay, I have birds and branches. And is there this a bunch what's of behind us? Yes, so cool. because we're launching embroidery patterns here, we wanted to have a big flashy way to make that clear because most embroideries are kind of small. <laughs> so we are in Portland and we decided we were going to put a bird on it. Awesome. In hom homage to uh, Portlandia. So, so beautiful. Here, I'll hold then, on to This it. is my punchline down here. Okay, so then I have <laughs> garden paisleys. And again, there's probably three times as many designs on the SKU. They're heat transferable printouts that you could trace if you wanted to with embroidery instructions included. Very, very and then, cool. this one's not fully stitched yet, so I'll hold really still. Um, we are also doing quilt labels. And this particular SKU is part of our initial launch. It's just not fully stitched yet. 
Um, and it ties into my next fabric collection out this summer. Okay. We're excited to see your new collection. Thank you. Is it going to be 100% cottons? Yes. Okay. And anything else, home decor, anything with that? Uh, no, we're just doing cottons with this next line. And then I have another line that coordinates with it in a Ooh. secret kind of way in the fall. Okay. That's exciting. <laughs> Thanks. I'm with Julie here at Ruffle Fabric, and we stop in the, this booth, and I'm just so excited about these fabrics. I'm going to buy a bunch myself. So, Julie, tell me, uh, or do you want to show me I'm a few show of your you favorites? I'm going to show you a few Okay, this is our one-inch ruffle. We love this one-inch ruffle, and we paired it, of course, with some Riley Blake lace. That's it cute. makes a simple, quick skirt. Our booth is filled with with um, scarves and from this it. is pretty this is it looks like it's a fast project because it's just elastic on the top right very fast project one seam up the side gather the top and add your elastic and you're finished Darling. ready to go so cute yes show us this okay so this next one is one of our new fabrics we call it our 3d sherbet rose it's a mesh fabric That's cute. and it um, we just have a little knit underneath it very very cute bubble skirt and then this one, this is my personal favorite. This is our watercolors. We have four watercolor prints, and this is shown with our neon elastic. This is our two inch ruffle. Great for kids all the way up to all adults. I would wear that. I love it. And then this one I love because what they have done is they've put a lace bit over, this is some Riley Blake fabric. This looks like it's um, Cindy Walker's fabric, which is so cute. And just put a cotton underneath of it, which is a fun way to That's kind of right. dress up. It is. A cotton fabric. Yep, this is our champagne bitty bows, and this is, we've used this a lot in even maxi skirts. It makes a beautiful maxi skirt. I love it. Mm -hmm. So cute. Thanks for showing us. Thank you. It's been a great market. I'm here with Shari Butler, who is with Doohickey Designs, and this gorgeous line behind me is Ashbury Heights. So tell me about this line. Ashbury Heights is a teenager line, okay. which is in three colorways. We have a navy orange, a gray with some citron and yellows, and we have a purple colorway as well. And Shari has an awesome download that it's a free project. Yes. So what, what, which one is it? It's this pillow right here. It's Call Me. And it's really fun, and I think it'd be fun on a cute teenager bed or even on your couch. Very, very, very fun. So um, tell us your website so that... DoohickeyDesigns.com or DoohickeyDesignsStudio.com. Okay, very cool. Thanks, Shari. Thanks. I'm here today with Pickle Pie Designs. This is Lisa <laughs> and Rhea, and I'm so excited because they are producing embroidery patterns with my all my fabric lines and scrapbook lines. So let's show these here. I'm gonna hand these off to you guys. Um, this was the first project that we showed. Right. It's so awesome. Lisa, tell us about it. Okay, this is uh, the Dainty Blossom zipper bag. We love the fabric, love the lines. Thanks. Um, and this is made completely in the hoop of your embroidery machine from start to finish. Even the zipper is put in with your embroidery machine. That is so crazy. It is super cool, super fun, really fast too. It's instant gratification projects. Love so it. So the zipper is put in. It's also fully lined with no exposed seams. Yeah, and it's such a cute size. Like this is like the perfect size to like just put in your purse yep. and have a little, little bit of makeup. And, put your cards in here. Business you cards, keep whatever. In there. Right. That is darling. Thank you. So tell me about this project. This is an in the hoop eyeglass case, and it's also done in the same fabrics and with this Danny Blossoms, and um, it is done start to finish. The front is quilted, and again, no exposed seams. Very, very cute. Okay, so tell me this. Um, if you were doing embroidery, how do we? How do you get a hold of these? You go to pickupheidesigns.com slash Karina Gardner, okay. and all of Karina Gardner's patterns will be there. We keep adding, so check back frequently. This um, this flower is also available as a standalone applique. Awesome. In three different sizes, so you could do a big pillow or a t-shirt, a lot of different possibilities. Very cool. Yeah. Okay, so right now it's all digital. That's but right. But eventually you might also see this in local shops. Yes, ma'am. That's right. Okay. We have a line of CDs that we sell in stores, and we will be putting out some Karina Gardner CDs. Yay! It's exciting, guys. <laughs> These are so cute. So I'm so yeah. excited that we're going to be doing. Thanks, Lisa and Rhea. I'm like looking at the wrong people. <laughs> Thanks so much. I'm with Barry J from Art Gallery Fabrics, and she's going to show us her new line called... It's called Bijou. And tell us about the line. Okay. Well, Bijou means little jewels, but when I design, I tend to imagine like a full life of a person. And I, I don't know why that is. I think it's probably just little bits and pieces of who I am and, you know, what 
you know, what I love comes out in that. And so this is the imagined life of a gypsy traveling woman. And she's, she's like a, like a earth mama. She's a, you know, like granola, but the, um, but has like, you know, a full life of collections and she goes around traveling and she's got, um, you know, crochet and she's collected embroidery and she's got kanpa and she's just, she's full of life. And, That's so and awesome. I, and, I love this line. And I saw and I saw that there's a lot of desert inspired prints in the line. There are. I moved to um, Scottsdale about a year and a half ago and never imagined that the desert would remotely inspire anything in me because it's the desert. So, but you know, it's amazing in the spring in the desert, the cactus bloom and everything looks like it's just, it's full of life. And it, the desert has this kind of secret beauty that I think the desert likes to keep to itself and the de people of the desert keep to itself. And it really came out in this line. I love it. It's Thank such you. a beautiful line. I'm so Thank excited you. to see, meet you and for, we, yeah. This is the first time we've met in real life. Yes, and but we've known each other for years online. From Yes, we're Instagram buddies. <laughs> yes. So this has been really fun. Thanks so much Thanks. for talking to us, Barry J. Thank you. I am with Gabriella, who owns this gorgeous um, booth called Miss Rose Sister Violet. And she's going to show us a few different things that they have here in this booth. I, I'm... I wish you guys could see this in person. It is gorgeous. It's I think it's gorgeous for fabric people and for scrapbooking people. So show us a couple of things here. Well, these are our best sellers. These are the children's two. Shows. Oh my gosh. These are the little zip that. Bags. That and is then darling. All these, um, these. Let me show this. Look at that. So tell me what you think your style would be. I, we call it romantic vintage. Romantic vintage. I would call it shabby chic. Well, it crosses over. It crosses over into French country, shabby chic, romantic vintage, mainly because I have a real love of lace and beautiful things and flowers. And we do a lot of rich colours as well as the pale pastels of shabby chic. It is, it is shabby chic as well. Yeah. But I always think of Rachel Ashwell and I don't want to sort of ride on her sales. I adore this. Uh, look how darling this is. And you guys produce and manufacture all of it. All of it is our own design. All these gorgeous laces and trims. Yes, and then there's all these really lovely scented things. Smell that. Oh my gosh. These are little, no they're for sachets for luggage, for drawer liners and things. But they're just so beautifully scented and they so last you, forever. So you actually have lots of actual made goods as well as the trims. We sort of, I think we fill a gap. We produce all our own trims and laces and bits and pieces and then we use them to create. So all of these, we sell the button, we sell the net, we sell the laces. So the people can either do their own thing or they can buy the ready-made product. Because from years of having a shop, people would come in and say, oh, I love that, I want to do it. So we've got it. We've got the lace so you can do your own or we've got the ready-made item so you can buy it. Okay, well, we're going to give everyone your Facebook page so they can know right. where they can find mm -hmm. this because you sell in lots of shops in the U.S. Yes, and we do now, yes. And so you can grab some of this. This is delicious. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you so much, Karina. Thanks. Thank you. I'm with Tracy Mooney from Generation Q, and she's going to tell us a little bit about, about your magazine. I am. So Generation Q is a magazine for the modern quilter and sewist. Um, it is a lifestyle magazine, so it is chock full of articles about sewing and quilting, but it also has patterns. And um, one of the things that I do specifically for the magazine is a little section called We Sew Too. And I work with uh, five junior editors between the ages of six and 16, and we make projects that they can sell. That's so, quite the accomplishment if you're working with six to 16 year olds. Yeah, they call me Kitten Wrangler. It's part of my um, job title, <laughs> um, but it's fun actually. I get to create some new project each each issue and and um, and sort of tailor it towards each age range so that they can sort of have fun and learn how to sew, but it's not drudgery or anything like that. We That's just want to so inspire fun. the next generation of fiber addicts. And, um, but you know, we appeal to all generations. I think uh, one of the biggest questions I ever get is what is gener who is Generation Q? And I'm who like, it's it? everybody. Nice. It's anyone who loves to sew and quilt. Very cool. And where can you get a subscription for this magazine? Uh, uh, go to www.generationq.com. Um, but you can also get it at your local quilt shop.
Um, and we are in Barnes & Noble and Joanne's. Awesome. Thanks so much, Tracy. Thank you. I'm here with Amy McCullen, and she is showing us her newest book, your first book, mm -hmm. called? It's a Circus. So tell us about some of the projects in this book. Um, this, I'm a grandma, so this has a lot of grandma projects, as well as just everyday quilts. There are several small projects, um, a bag that holds cute little animals in it. There's a circus tent that your kids can play in. There's several quilts. A lot of them use utilize a ruler that's a, a wheel ruler or a 15 degree ruler and just lots of fun small projects. What inspired you to do this? My girls. I have two daughters that help me with my business. They are both married and they each have four children. So they like things for children and so we kind of built it off of that and then we just dreamt it up. Well, we were completely drawn to this booth because of the darling circus uh, tent that you mm -hmm. have here. It's so cute, and I could totally see my six-year-old wanting to crawl into it and just have fun. Mm -hmm. And it's just made with a, you use a card table. Right. So it's something that you can easily find and then build your entire design around. Yes. So what's holding up this, the little top part of it? In the, the book, we give you the instructions on how to make a support out of wood and some PVC pipe. So it's so very easy. simple. Yep. Okay. Well, I love it. I'm so excited about the book. It looks good, darling. And thanks for being with us. You're welcome.